In this tutorial, we'll look at how to make a circle inside a circle in HTML and CSS. All right, so I have a simple example here, just an HTML boilerplate, and I open it up here, so currently it's empty. So we wanna have two circles, and we're just gonna create empty divs for them. So I'm just gonna create one div with a class of circle one, and in there we'll have another uh, div with a class of circle two, right? So we have two circles, one and two. So then I'm gonna select this here in the CSS. We're gonna say circle one and circle two. So right now, if we save here and refresh, there's nothing here, right? So let's actually, um, with the uh, with the bigger circle, right? So this is gonna be circle one. Let's make, we need to, we need to give it a height and width. Right? We want it to be a circle, so the height and width need to be the same. So that to make it a circle, um, actually, let's add the border first. So let's add a border of five pixels, solid black. All right, let's see what we get. So this is what you get, a rectangular shape. Now, the trick is to use border radius in order to make this a circle. And actually, let me make this a little bit smaller. All right, so for border radius, if you just give this a very large, like, absolute value, like 5,000 pixels, it will become a circle. Okay, so that's uh, the bigger circle. Now we want a circle inside this circle. So what we can do is just copy all of this. And let's paste that here. But this one's gonna be slightly smaller, let's say. Let's make that 200 pixels. Or actually, all right, let's just do 200. And let's give it a different color, maybe something like orange. And let's see what we get if we do that. So now we have this circle, still, it's still sitting here. So now we need to center this. Remember, it's still a div, right? It, it's just that we style it like a circle here. But it's still a div. You know, all the this, all this standard rules of CSS in terms of centering still apply. So the best way to center something is with Flexbox. So with Flexbox, you need to identify the parent element. So that will be circle one here. We're going to make this a so-called flex container. So we're going to say display flex. And what that will do is, right now it doesn't do anything, but it, it unlocks the Flexbox functionalities. Right? So it's really important that you have mastered Flexbox. It's one of the most important uh, concepts in CSS. Um, I have a course on CSS. It only takes a couple of hours, but if you want to do anything with web development, it's really important that you uh, have mastered CSS. It will benefit you for the rest of your career. So definitely check out the link in the description. But what we can say here is justify content center, which will center it uh, horizontally. And then vertically, we can use align items center. This is the easiest way, the best way to center something in CSS, right? So now if you do that, it's perfectly centered. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.